Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In this lecture, we are going to learn about one more interesting topic in the Oracle database and we called it as a table point in time recovery. Let's try to understand what is this. But before that, let me tell you about what was the problem that you were facing initially. Let's assume that there is one customer is there, U1, okay? And there is one table called T1. This table is really, really important. Okay, now somehow what happened? Someone deleted this table. Okay, this user deleted the table. Now this user or you can call it as a client also. Okay, this client is coming back to the DBA team and they are saying that hi DBA team. Can you please help me to restore this table because this table is really important. So that's the point. Now assume that I have Rman backup. I have Rman backup. If I have Rman backup, what we used to do? Like we will use this Rman backup and will restore our database. But again, when you are restoring our database, there is a chances that you may lose some data. And you know, your database will not be available there. So only for the table, only for the single table, it was not worth to, you know restore your database and we also called it as a database point in time recovery database point in time recovery so that option was there but only for one data only for one table to get recover we are going on the database level and where the database will also not be available and downtime will be there and we may lose some data this database point in time recovery will not be helpful for us. So starting from Oracle 12C, they have introduced one more concept. We called it as a table point in time recovery, table point in time recovery. To understand this concept in more detail, what I will do, I'll create one scenario. Let's assume that I have one table called T1. In that table, I have some records. Okay. So there are some records are there. Now this is the time, let's assume that this is 9, 10 a.m. I have a record available here. And after that I have taken a backup also. So I'll take Rman backup. Rman backup. Let's say that I have taken this backup by 9, 11 a.m. After that, I am going to drop this table just to create a scenario, drop table. We drop the table by 9, 15 a.m. Now what I want, this team, your client will come back to the DBA team and they'll say that, boss, I want this table. I want this table because the table got dropped and table is not available in the recycle bin also. In that case, if I have a RMN backup, I can still recover this table by using the technology we called it as a pointing time table recovery. That is possible. Let's see this document. What is table point in time recovery? Okay. So for that, let's see this practically. I'll just take these things practically. I have a table called, there is a table which is available in the pluggable database. And there are some four records I can see over here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the Rman backup. Before that, let me check what is the current time right now I'm using that. So I'll just scroll it down and I'll set one parameter that is which will give me the time. I'll just set this parameter. Let me go on the top. So I'm just scrolling. Okay, so we are here. And let me take the backup. Okay. Let me take the backup. Let's say I'm taking a backup now. All right, I need to fire this command in the Rman target. Clear the screen. Rman target slash. I'm going to take my full database backup. My database is an already archaeolog mode. So I can take my archaeolog backup. Meanwhile, I'll also see what's happening here. So I'll set up this parameter, which will give me the current time of my database. So I'll open a duplicate session. Let me log in with Oracle user. My database is already up and running. I'm pretty much sure. So 
so sql plus slash as sysdb and let me connect to the pluggable database show pdbs alter session set container equals to this is how you can connect to the pluggable database pdb prime i am inside the pluggable database now what is the next thing i'm going to set this parameter by setting this parameter lnsl l n l s date format i'll get to know about my current date in the hours minute and second format so i can see this is the current timing of my database now what i will do i will drop this table what i will do i will drop this table and by using the concept we called it as a point in time recovery i will try to recover that table but you know what is the good thing over here internally what is going to happen see we have rman backup which is a physical backup and table is a logical entity so obviously if you want a table to be get recover from the rman backup oracle will do automatically export and import of that table from the rman backup that is possible and that is all happening with the help of table point in time recovery so let me drop the table if my backup is completed yes i can see backup is completed alter session set container equals to pdb prime and i'm going to drop the table drop table test user dot test i just drop the table now i don't have a table now this is the time where client is coming back to us and saying that hi dba team can you please recover my table only table not a database so my database is up and running everything is fine very good there is no problem now this is where we need to create one destination we called it as a auxiliary destination so i'm just creating one directory mkdir hyphen p i just created this directory this directory is going to be useful or is going to be used by the oracle database it will create auxiliary instance and then it will take the backup of the table which got deleted or but we have a backup there right so from that backup it will take the export and then it will going to import that to the existing instance let me show you how how you can do that so we have this recover table i'm going to recover the table from this user this is a table name of pluggable database until the time so when my table was up and running that time what was the time that is why i have already taken out the timing over here oh did i miss that uh i think i missed the time okay let me check the timing over here i think yes we have a time here in the next window let me take this is the time before deleting the table okay so i just pasted that that's it copy it and it's very very simple you know you just need to fire this command one minute let me try to do this let me try to connect to the rman rman target slash and let's fire this command what it will do it is going to create i see there is a syntax error that's okay we'll try to fix that okay so this is happening here let me go there and paste it so it started what it is doing it is basically going to create one auxiliary instance then it will try to take the backup of table which is deleted table from the rman backup we call it as a export and then it will import that so all these things are happening automatically you don't need to do anything from your side and this is called table point in time recovery now after some time you'll find that your table has been restored successfully i'll try to keep this in your in our uh, website also meanwhile if you want to go through my website 
you can go through my website which is learnomade.org you can see the success stories of my student those who have been passed and clear oracle database administration part uh, there are many people they have been placed with the 300 percent high 200 percent high many many people are there so you can check out all the success story here click on the home section if you want to enroll for some courses you can also enroll for the online courses click on the courses section and there you can see a lot of courses are there related to the oracle database interview questions linux course sql course which is some courses are completely free of cost also again if you are looking for real-time database training you can directly reach out to me my number is available over here all right so we have a different different we have a different different trainings are available here core dba syllabus we have rack sql pl sql hadoop golden gate trainings different different trainings are there okay so this is all about the promotions okay let me come back to our actual story so it is taking some time it will obviously it will take some time because uh, you need to do um, internally it is going to do the export of the table and then it will try to import to that table from the arm and backup so now you can see it has been connected to the auxiliary database okay and it is trying to clone the database also so this is going to take some time let's wait for some time and then i'll show you select star from table name you will be able to see that table over there so here i can see that rman restoration has been completed let me connect to the sql plus utility and let me switch back to our pluggable database alta session set container request to pdb prime and let's call whether the table is there or not because we just dropped that table select star from test user does test and here i can see my table we got it this is the magic of you know table point in time restoration recovery actually and which has been started from oracle 12c right now we are using 19c that's okay but it is there in the 12c also many times the people will ask the interview questions and uh, you should be always aware about that so if you are looking for real-time database training or if you are looking for any thing let me know okay my details are there in the description section thank you so much please do like subscribe and share this channel we have already started the core database training and we are just waiting for that thank you guys bye bye